talking to your child. Keeping your child physically safe is a full-time job in itself. You must watch out for predators, cars, bikes, bullies, and so many other dangers that leave your mind in a constant worry. But keeping your child from all of these things is just the beginning. As a parent, one of the most important duties that you have is to keep your child mentally and emotionally safe and sound. When you keep your children emotionally safe and sound, they'll be able to lead a productive life and you'll enjoy a close relationship with them for a long time to come. Children should feel easy being themselves and comfortable talking to you about various things that are happening in their lives, even if it is things that they know you won't agree with or may perceive differently than they do in their world. Start the conversation. Don't be afraid to ask your child how their day was. In fact, why not make it the first words you say after hello after the day at school or your long day at work? It is nice to be able to sit down and talk to your child. It keeps you informed in your life and what is going on and allows you to build a lasting, trusting bond with your child. It is very important that every child have this. Sometimes it takes you getting the conversation going to spark the interest of your child, particularly during the preteen and teenage years. Sometimes children at this age have so much peer pressure and other emotions going on inside, they're not really aware of the love their parents have and take it out on them. This is exactly why you should take the first step so that you're not shut out. When your children feel comfortable enough to open up and talk to, it can make a world of difference in their overall well-being. You should always try to understand your child's point of view, no matter what your original thoughts are concerning that particular subject. Be willing to listen and try to relate to what they're saying. Things that your child feel or express to you are probably not the same sort of things that you were dealing with as a youngster. Times have greatly changed in just a few short years. Be open and willing to at least hear your child out. Valuing your child's thoughts and opinions enables them to blossom into a caring, considering adult. Your children need you for guidance, but as they age, inserting their own opinions is important. When there are important decisions involving the child, allow them to be a part of the process. When you allow them to give their input, even if your decision is one they'd rather you not make, it allows the child to grow both developmentally and emotionally. Is something wrong? Don't expect your child to open up and tell you when something is bothering them because so often this doesn't happen and you'll be waiting around forever for them to talk. It is up to you to recognize the changes that may occur in your child when something isn't right with them. While the signs vary in every child, it is usually pretty simple for a parent to determine that something is wrong. Some of the signs that your child is emotionally bothered by something include sudden change in their behavior. Your child may show disinterest in activities that he once enjoyed. Your child may change the group of friends he has. Your child doesn't want to go to school or becomes nervous or anxious. Anger and irritability are also signs that there is some sort of problem in your child's life. Oftentimes, children are unable to direct their emotions to the person actually causing them. Family members are close and trusted. They reserve those feelings unto those they trust. Your child seems withdrawn, isn't eating dinner, or seems sad. Kids have so much going on in their lives, and they oftentimes are unsure of how they should deal with the emotions. Being there to recognize the signs that something is wrong can help your child work out any issues that they are facing. Leaving your child to their own vices is never a good idea as they lack the maturity to make the best decisions for themselves. Ensure that your child has an active life that keeps them busy. Enroll him or her in sports, music, or dance. Plan activity-packed weekend adventures for the family. Your child needs to visit the doctor at least once per year as well. Ensuring regular doctor visits may help prevent emotional problems from becoming out of hand. Should there be a more serious problem with your child, the doctor can help you address the problem and find a solution. Encouraging your child to be self-sufficient is important. Raising a confident child starts at a young age, but it does start with the things that you teach. Dr. Sears recommends that parents take several steps in an effort to raise a confident child, each suggesting that the way a parent feels about themselves helps nurture the child's confidence and self-esteem. Making safety a top priority. There is no denying the fact that the dangers out there are very real and your child is susceptible to them all. Luckily, you can implement so many strategies that help protect your little ones and keep them safe at any age as long as you are willing to take the necessary steps for that added protection. Making safety a top priority in your life shouldn't be difficult. As a parent, your biggest concerns in life revolve around your children. Knowing that you are doing all that you can to keep them safe provides a peace of mind that every parent needs to feel. 
The first step in protecting your child is to understand that there are dangers out there. So often parents fail to realize the dangers or think they'll never happen to them. This train of thought may very well lead to your child encountering more dangers in life than necessary. While there is never a 100% surefire way to prevent any of the dangers lurking out there from affecting your child, you can do more to protect them and is certainly far more beneficial than simply turning the other cheek and pretending that dangers don't exist. When you understand that dangers surround us everywhere that we go and dedicate yourself to taking the proper precautions to avoid them, it is much easier to sleep soundly at night. Your children will listen to you if you are willing to start the conversation. It might be difficult and sometimes a bit uncomfortable, but it is not impossible. Teaching safety to your child. Here are a few tips that can help you teach safety to your child. Implementing these tips provides parents with a peace of mind and certainty that their child will be okay even when they're not with their child. Listen to your child. If they tell you that something isn't right, pay attention to what they are telling you and take the appropriate measures. Building a child that is confident and who will talk to you requires that you listen and understand. Never push your child's feelings to the side. Give your children the tools necessary for success. When you know they know how to trust their gut instincts and stand up for themselves, it will help them in many different areas of their life. Good judgment is something that you can help teach your child, and doing so is beneficial in every area of their life. Teach your child how to swim. Swimming is an activity that most young children enjoy. It is a great form of exercise, and knowing how to swim may very well save your child's life or that of another individual. Ensure that your child wears a safety helmet whenever they ride a bike, scooter, skateboard, etc. Helmets provide the best protection against skull and brain fractures, and your child should understand their use isn't optional. It is mandatory. Talk to your children. Even on occasions when it seems that they're not listening to a thing you say, they're actually taking in more than you realize. The more talk that you do, the better, but remember that you need to keep the conversation kid or teen friendly to keep from sounding like the annoying nag. Securing your life. Your home is a place of comfort and safety for your child. It is important that they feel comfortable and to help make this possible, there are many additions that you can make to your home. Remember to keep it age appropriate. If you have toddlers in the house, you obviously need safety latches and locks, whereas these items are unnecessary if your kids are preteens. But some items are useful for all homes, regardless of the age of the kids inside. This includes Home security systems Home security systems have greatly advanced over the years. These days, they provide the utmost in safety and security that allows you to keep an eye on things no matter where you go. These systems are versatile and more affordable than you might imagine. It might be possible to get a free home security system with free installation if you choose the right company. Monthly monitoring is only a few bucks per month. And let's be honest, it's definitely nice to know that you are protected. The buddy system. The buddy system works. As previously discussed, teaching your child to never go out alone can prevent mishaps from occurring. A person is less likely to become a victim of a crime if together in a team or group setting. Your child should understand that going out with at least one person is important and that they should always let an adult know where they are going to be and who they are going to be with at all times. The truth about people. When your child is old enough, let them know the truth about some people in the world, but start this conversation in a way that doesn't terrify them. You can let them know that there are bad people in the world who will say or do anything they have in order to get what they want. Help them determine when a person is lying and to use their gut instinct if something simply doesn't feel right to them. Conclusion and Further Insight As we wind down and wrap up this course, there's a few more things to touch on. Not necessarily more tidbits and advice, but rather where to head from here. Going through this course, you probably notice there's a lot of information and subject matter when it comes to the concept of keeping kids of all ages safe and secure from the many unfortunate dangers out there in the world. While this course did touch on a ton of things and explain many of the subjects in depth or at least enough that you could get a decent understanding, we were limited to constraints and there's no shortage of new findings and other information out there. From here, you should check out the cheat sheet and other resources that were included with this course to give yourself a refresher and for further reading and learning. Additionally, you can always go back through this course and take notes if you'd like. Beyond that, 
It's highly recommended that you visit some of the many linked resources and websites that were mentioned in this course, as they contain tons of valuable information regarding child safety and security. You should always make it a point to stay completely up to date with current events when you're a parent, which is essentially all the time for the remainder of your life, or to an extent. Lastly, you can always go out to Google or anywhere else and do more searches for current findings, forums, message boards, blogs, and other networks with like-minded individuals that all have the same child safety goal in mind. At the end of it all, I want to thank you for taking the time to go through this course, and I genuinely hope that you've learned a few things and will take some knowledge away. In closing, you've made an awesome decision by grabbing this course, and by doing this, you're contributing and making the world a safer place, not just for your own kids, but for other kids all around the world. With that said, thank you very much for your time, and I wish you the very best of luck with child safety and keeping our kids safe from dangers. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.